Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing the compound 7-hydroxy-4-methyl-caumarin. Caumarin are phenolic substances composed of fused benzene and alpha pyron ring. The procedure that we follow for the synthesis of caumarin is called Peckman condensation where there is an interaction of a phenol with a beta-keto ester in the presence of an acid condensing agent. Concentrated sulfuric acid is usually used as the condensing agent, whereas some also use polyphosphoric acid. 7-hydroxy-4-methyl-caumarin is used commercially as laser dye. It is also used as a starting material for the production of certain insecticides. Warfarin, the anticoagulant, is a caumarin derivative. For this synthesis, you will need 3.7 grams of resorcinol, 5 milliliters of ethyl acetoacetate, and 15 milliliters of 98% concentrated sulfuric acid. Start by placing a 250 milliliter beaker in an ice bath. Add 15 milliliters of concentrated 98% sulfuric acid to the beaker. Keep the beaker and ice bath aside and chill the acid to below 10 degrees C. Meanwhile, a 100 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask is taken and 3.7 grams of resorcinol was added to the flask using a powder funnel. Next, 5 ml of ethyl acetoacetate was added to the flask using a glass pipette. With the steering turned on, resorcinol is dissolved in ethyl acetoacetate. Once everything is dissolved, we are left with a dark yellow clear solution. Then the solution in the flask is added dropwise to the chilled sulfuric acid slowly using a glass pipette. Addition of resorcinol ethyl acetoacetate mixture to the sulfuric acid is exothermic. A thermometer was placed in the beaker and the temperature was maintained below 20 degrees C. This is going to be a laggy part in the synthesis, hence I will explain a bit about Peckman condensation and the reaction mechanism as a whole. Phenolic compound resorcinol interact with the beta-keto ester ethyl acetoacetate in the presence of concentrated 98% sulfuric acid condensing agent to form the caumarin derivative 7-hydroxy-4-methyl-caumarin. Reaction mechanism involves three steps. Step 1 is transesterification where there is formation of a beta-hydroxy ester then step 2 is the cyclization and finally the step 3 dehydration. Once all the resorcinol ethyl acetoacetate mixture is added to the sulfuric acid, the mixture was kept stirring for 10 minutes to carry the reaction forward to completion. Then with the stirring turned on, the contents of the beaker was poured into ice water taken in a beaker. Immediately you see the formation of a pale yellow precipitate and this is a crude product. Crude product was then collected by vacuum filtration. The product was washed couple of times with ice cold water in the filter funnel itself. It was then recrystallized from an ethanol water mixture of 70 is to 30 ratio. The final practical yield was 4.2 grams. Now let us get into the calculation part. Here resorcinol is the limiting reagent. So we will calculate the amount from the amount of resorcinol used. According to the reaction, one molecule of resorcinol will react to form one molecule of 7 hydroxy 4 methyl -caumarin. So 110 grams of resorcinol would give 176 grams of the product.
3.7 grams of resorcinol should theoretically yield 5.9 grams of 7-hydroxy-4-methyl coumarin. So the theoretical yield is 5.9 grams. The practical yield that we got was 4.2 grams. So the percentage yield is the practical yield divided by the theoretical yield into 100. So 4.2 divided by 5.9 into 100 that is 71.11 percentage. So that's all in this video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are given in the description. Once again thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications regarding my future videos.